All right, shalom, y'all. Uh, Michael Israel here, uh, Spiritual Combat, and I'm here with Lucas Cameron, and he's with Seven Trumpets Preppers. And um, if you could just tell a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, um, I'm just uh, I'd like to say just a humble farmer. Um, I do uh, off grid construction. That's what I do for a, a lifestyle. But um, I've been doing a prepping channel, um, pretty much preparing doing everything I can to help people prepare for the end days ever since 2012. Okay. Um, since I learned about the Seven Trumpets Revelation, come to a realization we're in the last generation. And, um, you know, so many things snowballed from that point. I found out who the Father's uh, true people were, um, the Father's calendar, holy names. It's just one thing after another after another just snowballed. Um, and as I come into the knowledge of those truths, I continue to share it with people because uh, I used to be a deacon. Uh, in an assembly, and I've uh, seen a lot of things go on that kind of, you know, broke my heart. I've seen where the pastor, one of the pastors said just pretty much lay aside the Ten Commandments. I knew that was a red flag <laughs> to exit. And so pretty much I've been taking my walk out of Babylon since 2009, started the channel in 2012, and been doing everything I can to uh, build the kingdom since then. And like like I was saying, uh, he has a video on his on his channel, and... It's an awesome video. I'm gonna actually do it on my channel, it, and the the title of the video is Seven Trumpets Prepper Beliefs: What I Believe and Why." And and you can really see how he came into this truth. And one of the things I noticed it's like a common thread for a lot of people who is just a uh, just like the Bible says, "Seeking you shall find." And in the video, you were saying how your mindset was. Whatever the truth is, I'm going to get to the bottom of it, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? And that's something I said to myself uh, when I came to this truth. I was like, wherever it takes me, you know, that's, uh, that's what it's going to be. Um, but uh, talk about how you came into the, uh, the truth. You could briefly say, because um, it's in your video, but if you could just elaborate on briefly how you came into the truth, how you... Um, uh, you know, what made you arrive at it and everything like that, if you could? Well, as uh, I studied the scripture, uh, especially in 2009, I made it a point to sit down and deeply study all my core beliefs. Why do I believe and why do I do what I do? Um, and as I started looking, I seen that, you know, the law has never been done away with. You know, I mean, everything's still applicable today. I mean, obviously, the sacrificial offerings and things like that, you know, certain ordinances were nailed to the cross for that matter. But, for the, you know, the Ten Commandments, everything um, that pretty much that Moshe spoke to the people, we can still find today is as valid as ever. Um, and so that started a separating process there for me from a lot of the people and, uh, you know, from fellowship that I had with one another because after that I had noticed in a National Geographic magazine it was called The Black Pharaohs of Egypt. Okay. And I started from there <laughs> questioning who is the true Hebrew Israelites because wait a minute they blended in with the Egyptians and now that I have a full spectrum picture of who the Egyptians were at that time that dynasty this can't be either you know that that there's just so many things that started clicking and then I started seeing um, through my studies that the Father's calendar and the Roman calendar weren't one and the same. His appointed times are not the same as Rome's. And one thing just continued to click, 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 and before you know it, I was just like, wow, the, you know, there's the way, and then there's what the world has to say. And, you know, I mean, there's awakening. I've never seen the awakening that's taking place currently. Yeah, yeah. It's, Hebrew it's, and Gentile, not yeah. interruption. It's, it's, it's all across and the I don't, And I don't know, yeah, and as far as the Gentile, I didn't know that uh, that it was, uh, so you, what you're saying is a lot of them are coming into the truth now too? I oh, mean, yeah. coming to that realization? Oh, yeah, I mean, like, people have figured out that there is um, the world's viewpoint, uh, you know, I, I hate to say it, but like, Christianity's mm -hmm. viewpoint, and then there is the way. Wow. And people are starting to see the Torah is still applicable. The yeah. Ten Commandments are still applicable. Absolutely. There is a people of the Father, and you know, there's it's very defined. From Deuteronomy twenty eight to four where you can find there's only one group of people that meet that qualification. Yeah. I mean there's just one bullet point after bullet point and people's noticed the Father's appointed times of worship. Leviticus twenty three is still applicable. I mean all these things and it's just like we've got to get back to the foundation. Yeah. And 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 one of the big things I always say is 
when when you get into this into the word, you got to leave your emotions at the door, and you you got to be willing to question everything you've ever believed in your life, and just read that word for what it is. You know, that's one of the, my uh, core mindsets when when it comes to the word. And a lot of people, it can be painful having to question everything you've been taught. You know. Yeah. Well. Everybody needs to all take a step back, and I say this still to this day. I've still got, you know, I'm considered a growing process till the day I draw my Me last too, breath. I agree. But if it that every thus saith Yahweh, if it says it, do it. If it's don't say don't do it, don't worry about it. But if it says do it, by all means do it because it obviously yeah. had value then. It has substance today in our lives. And and that's one of the big things I found is not only yeah he wants us to do this stuff, but when you really get in the study and the spirit of the word, you come to realize that there's a practical reason why he wants you to do it. And, and after seeing that there's a practical reason behind all the commandments, even the ones that I couldn't figure out what the practical reason was, by that time I was like, I'm just doing it anyway, you know? <laughs> right. And I keep looking back now and I'm like, now that makes perfect sense why that yep. was for that reason. Yeah. And, for this. and it's like, don't eat unclean things. Man, my health has been phenomenal. Exactly. I get like five hours of sleep. When you work construction at three jobs, <laughs> you get five hours of sleep, you better eat healthy. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, I mean, like everything has a valid point. Yeah. And, um, and it was for our good at the end of the day. That's the one thing that we have to accept. Where it, it's kind of like children, you know, they get mad at their parents. Like, why are you doing this to me? Exactly. And then years later, you go back and you're like, man, Dad, thanks so yeah, much, man. Absolutely. You know, and I mean, that's really what it boils down to. Now, if you could, go ahead and tell people how, how if they want to see your teachings, see your videos, get in contact with you, how can they do that? Okay, well, um, if you want to view any of the content that I have on YouTube, you can visit it at Seven Trumpets Prepper. It's uh, the the handle that I use on YouTube. It, uh, a huge chunk of what is on there nowadays is for um, the preparation of what's to come, the Seven Trumpets Revelation. Um, and there's also a lot of uh, videos that I've done in the past on how to build things, how to do off-grid water, how to do off-grid solar. Awesome. Um, tiny house construction, tiny house living. I'm currently filming that as I'm living that. Okay. Um, there's just so many things. The uh, documentary, I mean, a little mini documentary I've done about the true Hebrew Israelites. All um, right. Father's Appointed Times. Uh, you name it, uh, just uh, there's uh, uh, hundreds and hundreds of videos of them there from multiple years. And li and like I said, if you want to go on there, one of his first videos is just him telling wh uh, what he believes, why, and how he arrived at it, basically giving his testimony. It's a good video, and I'm going to do it on my channel because it's a smart thing to do. Um, because a lot, a lot of the other speakers who came in, came here, I had to do a ton of research but you, you had your video right there, and it was like, okay, I, I see where he's coming from. So that's good. But anyway, nice, uh, nice talking to you. I look forward to hearing you uh, speak, and I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll be checking out your YouTube page. And with that said, shalom. All right. So, and you're gonna.